AI image generation is constantly evolving, and now we have AI vector image generation. So today I wanted to cover a few of the different platforms you can use to generate vectors using AI, starting with Adobe Illustrator. If you've updated Adobe Illustrator, you'll be prompted when you open to try this out. However, if you head to Window and Text to Vector Graphic, you can turn on the vector generative options. So you can import your previous generations like this little tiger head I created earlier. You can choose the type of vector graphic, such as a subject, scene, icon, or pattern. Type in your prompt and you can start generating. You can also hit the little cog and adjust how much detail before you generate. It can be better to go for more because some of these generations can be pretty simple. Hit generate and then wait for a minute or so. And then when you drag, you click on the image, drag it on your canvas and you get a vector graphic right within Illustrator that you can pull apart and edit as you see fit. The cool thing about this is you're in Adobe Illustrator, which is the world's leading vector editing program. So you're able to edit and do what you need to do with it straight away. What's also cool is if I highlight this other graphic, which I'll show you how I managed to get later, turn on match active upward style and generate, you can see it actually attempts to match the color and general tone of the image as well as the style and get something similar. So it does have a few powerful features there and is definitely something worth exploring a little bit more in depth. I haven't had a chance to really dig deep on this, but I think it's gonna be a pretty exciting feature. If you don't have Adobe Illustrator, there is a link to the Creative Cloud in the description below. So check that out if that's something you're interested in signing up for. Next is vectorart.ai. If you head over there and sign up, you can get started pretty quickly. You get a nice basic screen where you can type in a prompt and I'm gonna try this Red Samurai one again. And then you've got a few basic sort of image styles you can choose from in this little drop down on the left, which is pretty nifty. I decided to go with this dotted dimensions style here to experiment with my image to see what kind of results I could get. And after one or two minutes, I've got this nice simple samurai mask graphic. Uh, and a lot of the images I got from this were actually pretty basic, but still useful. It was very easy to download an SVG when I was done, and you do get a handful of free credits to play with. Otherwise, you end up paying anywhere from $29 a month to generate more and use in the long term. Next is Recraft, which is kind of like an AI art platform, kind of like a canvas type thing where it has a few tools, but it also has not only AI art generation, but also vector image generation that you can use. Now, again, you can go in and choose the style of vector art you're looking to create. They have a few here you can work with. There's even icon and logo, which I don't explore here, but something you can check out. And I pop in my same prompt as before to see what kind of results I can get with this platform. And I'm pretty happy with these results. And it's very easy if I right click, I can click SVG to download. Now I also try one of their cartoon styles and come up with a prompt for like a skater dog. And I also get this really nice cartoony dog image, which I thought turned out really good as well. So it's a pretty versatile platform for creating vector graphics and probably the, one of the better ones so far. So you can see there is a free tier here. So you get commercial license, but the images are public. Otherwise you can go about $20 a month for the commercial license, but the images are private and do not appear in the community gallery. And of course, faster image generation. So Definitely worth checking out, considering it has a free tier, it could be a nice fun tool to play with to get some pretty nifty images. If you're not happy with either of those results, there's actually a pretty good way to convert images to vectors as well. So if I head in to mid journey and type in what I wanna see, so my Samurai Hanya style mask, I make sure I use the words vector art, flat colors, so I get an image that is suitable to be converted to a vector. I can create some pretty awesome images, a lot like these ones here, that I can convert into a vector pretty easily. So if I save this image to my computer, I can quite easily take it over to vectorizer.ai. I give it a moment to convert it into a vector and then I can explore and see the difference between the two. And then when I'm ready, I can just hit download, tick a few options I think are gonna work, including the gap filling, which I think is quite important. I'm gonna save my vector and now I have it on my computer. And I can use that vector file for t-shirt designs or graphic design, anything I see fit. It's not as good as a handmade vector, but it's still a pretty good result. So those are pretty much the best platforms I can find for using vectors with AI. If you're looking for a more comprehensive guide to converting to vector automatically, check out the video on the screen right now. It's an old video I covered about vectorizer AI, but also how to convert to vector using Illustrator. Otherwise, I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, please consider giving it a like. Otherwise, we'll see you again soon. Hope you have a great day.